Hello, everybody. Today's verse of the day is 1 Kings 19, 18. Yet I have left me 7,000 in Israel, all the knees which have not bowed unto Baal, and every mouth which hath not kissed him. The Lord is saying this. He said, he said this to Elijah, and we're going to talk about this, but I wanted to bring this up because my grandfather, when I was growing up, probably Brown seven, I was always titled his good buddy. I was Mr. Good Buddy. I was Mr. Gitwood and Gib Good Buddy. Every time he saw me, he said he called me his good buddy. I just felt something. I thought that was my special nickname. And I had no idea that he called some of his other grandkids good buddy. So up came Royale. And I'm sitting there, and, and he saw Royale, and he's like, hey, good buddy. And I turned, and I thought he's talking to me. And lo and behold, Grandpa is talking to my cousin, Royale, my younger cousin. I was so heartbroken. I thought he was his good buddy. I thought I was his good buddy, not Royale. But guess what? <laughs> That's just like God. I'm the Lord's good buddy, but he has other good buddies. And that's what he was telling Elisha here. I have, yet I have left me 7,000 in Israel, all the knees which have not bowed unto Baal. I have 7,000 that are also my good buddies. The Lord told him at that time, the Lord has millions that are his good buddies through all the times in history and things. As first kings 19 9 through 17 we gotta read back to get some of this context and mind you elijah was running for his life okay and he was hiding and he came thither unto a cave and lodged there and behold the word of the lord came to him and he said unto him what dost thou hear elijah and he said I have been very jealous for the Lord God of hosts, for the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant, thrown down thine altars, and slain thy prophets with the sword. And I, even I only, am left, and they seek my life to take it away. So he's saying, he's saying, I'm the only one, Lord, that's that's doing right. All these other people, they're 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 making mockeries of your temples and your statues. And, and he said, go forth and stand upon the mount before the Lord. That's what the, the Lord said. And behold, the Lord passed by and a great and strong wind rent the mountains and break in pieces the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, a still, small voice. And it was so, when Elijah heard it, that he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood in the entering in of the cave. And behold, there came a voice unto him and said, What thou thou hear, Elijah? And he said, I have been very jealous for the Lord God of hosts, because... The children of Israel have forsaken that covenant, thrown down thy altars, and slain thy prophets with the sword. And I, even I only, am left, and they seek my life to take it away. And the Lord said unto him, Go, return, go back to, the wet, to thy way, to the wilderness of Damascus. And when thou comest, anoint Hazael to be king over Syria. And Jehu, the son of Nimshi, shall thou anoint to be king over Israel. And Elisha, the son of Shaphat, of Abelamehalal, shall thou anoint to be prophet in thy room. And it shall come to pass that him that escapeth the sword of Hazael shall Jehu slay, and him that escapeth from the sword of Jehu shall Elisha say, slay. And then he tells him, then he tells him, yet I have left me 7,000 in Israel, all the knees which have not bowed unto Baal, and every mouth which have not kissed him. 
sometimes I, I, I feel, I feel like this with a lot of the Lord's statutes, especially, uh, I mean, Bill, they call, they call them bell poles, astro poles, Christmas trees, right? So in a lot of churches, they have Christmas trees, well, Saturnalia trees. And I feel this. I feel this. I, I feel that it, 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 it puts me and my family in a predicament where, where do we go? Verse of the day number nine talks about this. Where should I go to worship that doesn't have a bell idol in it, an astroff pole in it? So I feel him. But I love how the Lord said, yet I have left me 7,000 in Israel, all the knees which have not bowed unto Baal. And the great thing is, there are people that I may not know that refuse to go to places that have idols and things. And when I say that, they're not occult groups like Jehovah's Witnesses or Seventh Day Venice or Hebrew Israelites. Okay, they're not occult groups, they're just people that call themselves self Christians that want to follow the word of God. So we're not alone. We're not alone. We always pick his statutes. And it's good to know that you're not alone. I don't want to be the only good buddy. <laughs> I used to want to be the only good buddy, but I'm not that special. There's so many up more. And if you feel like you're a good buddy and you're the only good buddy, there's many more sons and daughters of the Lord. As Revelation 3, 1 through 6 says, And unto the angel of the church in Sardis write, These things saith he that hath the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know thy works, that thou hast a name that thou livest and art dead. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. Strengthen, you, you have a word that you're supposed to be alive, but be watchful and strengthen the things which remain. that are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before God. Remember, therefore, how thou hast received and heard. Hold fast and repent. So this is someone who, this is a church that is supposed to be alive. It can also represent more, can have a pester interpretation. It could be a person who has a reputation of being alive. If thou, therefore, thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Thou hast a few names, even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white. So if you're in sin and you haven't repented, know that there are people that are walking with the Lord in white, that do not have those sins on, that do not look at porn, or do not go with the, the spirit of the age, the cancellation society thing that we're doing right now, go with things that are popular instead of the word of God. There are people who do not have idols in their church thou hast a few names even sardis which have not defiled their garments and they shall walk with me in white for they are worthy he that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment and i will not blot out his name out of the book of life you see that the lord said i will not blot out his name out of the book of life so does that mean people's names can be blot out of the book of life? Remember, we live in chronos. Hours, time, hours, days, minutes, months, years. That's how we see things. God sees things in eternity. But us being spirits and beings in time, he talks to us as beings in times. So to us, it would be a blotting out in Kronos. We fall away. We fell away. Like the, the four, four types of soil. 
Some can fall away. The devil can pluck it out. But in Kairos, he knew what would happen. He knows, knows the end of a man. But we are still beings in Kronos looking towards Kairos. And I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. This goes into, we are no longer slaves to sin, but now slaves to righteousness. Look up verse of day number 123 for that. And, and look up 1 Corinthians 2. 1 Corinthians 6, verse 9. And I speak on that in verse of day number 26. But concerning other good buddies, know that there are that walk, there are people that walk in white raiment. There are. And it's a beautiful thing. You are not alone. If you feel alone as a Christian, if you feel alone as trying to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul. Know that you're not. Know that you're not that special, yet you are special. It's it's weird, right? The Lord has many that love his gospel, that want to love him with all his heart, all their mind, and all their soul. Look up verse a day, number 22. At the end of that, at the end of that, I play a song. That just shows so many believers that are in North Korea and China. People that are fleeing for their lives just to worship God. They have church in underground places. And it they are so alive with him. In those places, in the worst places. Not in the Western society, in the worst places. People seem to be more bonded with God than ever. Watch the end of that verse of the day and it's just inspiring dear heavenly father thank you for letting us know that you got many good buddies <laughs> but thank you for letting me be your good buddy thank you for giving us all a chance to be one of your good buddies lord we love you thank you for what you've done for us we were special enough that you died on the cross for our sins and that is so so great, Lord. Just thank you for what you did. May many be saved, Lord. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Goodbye.